Hey guys, do you ever feel like whenever you get back from vacation, you just have no motivation to do anything? <laughs> I just recently got back from Atlanta and I've just been going through the motions of life, but like I haven't really, like my heart's not into it, you know? Like, um, I had a really good time in Atlanta. I went to go to see my boyfriend and. I was there for 10 days and now coming back I'm just like going through all the motions of, you know, my daily responsibilities, going to work, uh, coming back home, doing whatever chores and hanging out with friends. But it just doesn't feel like, I don't know, it's not like, doesn't feel satisfying anymore. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but I don't know. That's just how I've been feeling lately. Um, Usually I feel that way after coming back from a from a trip like that, but uh, it's only it's been less than a week, so hopefully this feeling passed. Um, on the bright side, I received a one hundred dollar gift card from a friend of mine for um, not for Christmas. It was it was a gift for something, but uh, I went and bought. Well, actually, first I was thinking about. Now that I have an extra $100 to spend at the pet store, should I, one, do the, do, <laughs> one, do the responsible thing and buy just a crap load of cat food because, you know, that's a, like a necessity for my cats, or do I use the extra $100 and spend it on something cool that I would never have gotten for my cats otherwise? So... I did both. <laughs> so I actually bought, uh, I needed food anyway, so I went to the pet store last night and I got a, um, a bag of cat food and then I also got a new toy um, for Mushu because, uh, so Mushu and Mika both have very different play styles. Um, Mika over here, she's actually right here. Hi Mika. Mika really likes to chase things. She's a chaser like she loves um oh <laughs> she loves for example oops she loves this thing like it's a string and she loves chasing it like maybe she's not gonna play oh there she is don't worry my plants are safe my cats don't really care for plants so yeah but she loves the string thing and mushu um likes the string thing sometimes but most of the time he just kind of ignores it. He's a very lazy player, but he loves to pounce. So when I was at the pet store, um, I got this uh, tunnel thing. I'm sure a lot of cat owners have this. So I got this thing for him and he's been loving it. Um, he likes playing with the string after he's inside. So let's see if he'll go inside. Now that I'm watching, he doesn't want to come in. But yeah, Mushu's a, oops. Mushu's a box cat for sure. Like every time he sees a box or a bag that's slaying around, the first thing he, oh my gosh, Mika. Mika. You say hi to everyone? <laughs> you're such a cute girl she's a very small cat too but yeah anyway yeah so I got that for them but um, today I'm going to be going to get my car maintenance it's finally time and then afterwards have a small a Christmas get together with some of my friends tomorrow so I need to go pick up some ingredients and make something for the potluck portion um, haven't decided what I'm gonna make yet so we'll see I'm over here just trying to do my laundry fold my laundry and this girl is loving it not helping at all. Mika. Mika. What are you doing? Hmm? Pretending like you weren't just pushing all my clothes over? 
Huh? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> hi. Are you saying hi to everyone? Mm -hmm. Mika, are you happy? I think so. Happy girl, right? <laughs> cute paws. I love Mika's paws. They're so cute. <laughs> Alright, I'm home and I'm hungry. Hmm. Alright, so I just got home and I'm super hungry, so I'm going to make a quick lunch. And I thought, why not show you guys? Um, it's not actually going to be lunch food. I'm making banana pancakes. Uh, I had a quick bite at Tim Hortons earlier, so I'm not super, super hungry, but it is around lunchtime, so I should probably eat something, but I just bought blueberries because they were on... <laughs> I just bought blueberries because they were on sale, so I thought why not make some banana pancakes with some blueberries on top. So I'll just quickly show you guys how to do that. It's super easy. Okay, so for banana pancakes, you only need three ingredients. Uh, right here, I'm using quick oats, one egg, and one banana and you'll need a mixing bowl and just a fork to mash it and then a non-stick skillet something like this i think this one's specifically for pancakes and crepes and stuff so let's get started hope you can see first i'm going to mash the banana so what i usually just do well obviously i just peel it and yes, I'm a monster. I peel my bananas on the opposite side. I just find it easier. Like, I don't know. This is like a nice handle. I don't know. That's how monkeys do it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just put the banana into the mixing bowl. Matter. And then I'm just mashing the banana up until it's very, very smooth. You don't want any big chunks at all unless you want your pancakes to be a little bit chunkier that's fine but for this recipe I just find that it's a lot easier if you mash it all the way until it's super super smooth oh I almost forgot that we also need blueberries just for the topping I don't know if I mentioned that already but I'm just I'm just gonna wash a few of these and put it in this bowl all right so I have the banana mixture all mashed up and now I'm gonna add the egg now once the egg is in I just mix it all together until it's really smooth again okay so as you can see I have the egg and the banana all incorporated to each other you can tell that the mixture right now is actually pretty liquidy and that's actually what we want um, so I'm gonna add the oats next by the way this recipe um, is only enough to feed one person obviously one banana one egg but if you want to double the recipe then you are free to do so okay so I'm just gonna start adding in the oats until I feel like it's uh, at the right consistency this is really hard doing with one hand so you just want to stir in the oats that's obviously not enough um, the consistency that you want is basically until you start feeling some sort of resistance when you run your fork through. So that's not enough. Add a bit more. So this is about the consistency that I like it at. It's pretty thick. Um, when you run your fork through it, uh, it kind of goes into each other. The sides go into each other and that's exactly what I want. Um, usually I put in a little bit of cinnamon if I have any. Um, don't judge me from my messy pantry. Okay, there it is. So I just take a little bit of cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, you don't have to put it in. doesn't matter. Just a tiny bit. And then I add a tiny, tiny little bit of salt just to bring out the sweetness of it. And then stir it up. And then we can put it into the pan. Okay, wow, I just filmed the whole thing and my camera wasn't even recording. Great. But as I was, as I was saying, I was just letting my pan cool down a little bit because it was too hot. Um, if any of you have any cats, like indoor cats specifically, what do you do to keep them entertained? Because I live in a small apartment um, and one of my cats, Mushu, he's always meowing at me. Um, there's nothing wrong with him, like health-wise, he's perfectly healthy, um, and he eats, he sleeps, he drinks tons of water, and so 
it's not a health thing. I think he just wants attention. And I do play with him quite a bit. Like I play with him at least 30 minutes a day. Um, I don't know, maybe I should play with him more. Is that not enough? Um, it's just, I think it's just his personality. Like Mika here, she's fine. She doesn't need a lot of attention and she's perfectly happy spending time on her own. She's quite clingy to me though. But then there's Mushu here who is just always emailing. Like I even just bought him this thing. I think I showed you guys earlier, but he just doesn't seem to be satiated with the playtime that he gets. So yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Any cat owners out there that have indoor cats, what do you do to keep your cats entertained? Please let me know. All right, let's start making these pancakes. So with this pan, I don't actually need any oil on it. Um, so I'm not gonna put any. So I'm gonna put maybe, like maybe one and a half spoonfuls per pancake. I don't usually like huge pancakes for these. So this is about the size that I want. Um, I want them a little bit thick, just a little bit. And then I can start cooking like that. What I usually do is take some blueberries and I put it right on top. And I kind of push it in a little bit so that when I flip it, it's not super lumpy. I try to avoid the, um, the edges too much just because the berries will get burnt if I do that. This is not my recipe, by the way. I saw somebody else do this on YouTube. Well, that's... Oh, look at this one. Let me put this here. And this is actually really good. This is not, I wouldn't consider this like a full meal. Um, like I said earlier, I did have a little bit of a bite to eat at Tim Horton. So this is more like a afternoon snack before I have my full meal tonight. Okay, so the pancakes are about ready to flip and I'm going to attempt to flip this while holding the camera. I'm not sure how this is going to go. So Let's try. Um, usually what I do is just kind of lift up the edge just a little bit. You see how brown it is down there? So this one is ready to flip. So I'm just gonna... Whoop, perfect. It's a little bit more brown than I wanted it to be, but... Whoa, why did my voice go so high pitched? <laughs> okay, all right, need to brace. Okay, go. Just gotta do it with confidence, you know? Okay, next one, last one. Well, not last one, I have more bad. Okay, it's coming off the pan. All right. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm just gonna let this cook on the other side. Yeah, it's a little bit more overcooked than I usually like it, but who is texting me? Mika, you hanging out? Yes. What do you want? Oh gosh, what do you want? <laughs> literally just what I hear every day. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it off real quick. Put it here. Mushu, I hear you. All right, so I'm just gonna do the rest and I'll be right back. And that's it, final product. Ta da! All right, actually, I'm just gonna sit on this side so the sun doesn't blind me. But let's actually try it out. Here's my plate. And I'm just gonna put some, a little bit of syrup on it, not too much. This is supposed to be a slightly healthier meal. Uh, for me, I like to put, oh, blueberries everywhere. I like to put my um, syrup on the side. Like, I don't drizzle it on my pancakes. Like, I know a lot of people are like that, but that's just, that's just crazy. So I'm gonna grab a bit of pancake, a little blueberry on the side, you know? And have a bite. Mm. Oh yeah, this will fill you up for a good time. Again, it's a snack, it's not really a meal, but it's a pretty filling snack, if you ask me. Mm. 
really good. You should really try it out. Mm. <sighs> Hi, guys. I want to talk about something. Um, just thoughts about, you know, filming myself, YouTube stuff. And it's just every time I pick up the camera, it just feels so awkward. Actually, no, I don't think awkward's the right word for it. It just feels really weird and bizarre. Like, if anyone has ever picked up a camera and started talking to it before, like, you know what I mean? It just feels very odd. Um, like, imagine picking up, like, whatever is around you, like, a random inanimate object and then just start talking to it as if you're talking to a person. It's really bizarre. Like, it feels really weird. Um... Because, like, talking to a camera, like, I have to maintain eye contact, at least um, when I edit the videos, when I see that the person that I'm watching is, um, and in, the, in this case, it's me, uh, when I see that I'm looking into the camera, I'm much more engaged with the video than I would be if I was, like, looking at the, what is this, viewfinder? <laughs> um, so, I just... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess I'm just trying to say that, or express my feelings about, like, I do want to do YouTube, obviously. Um, I'm mostly doing it for myself, just to, you know, I guess kind of prove to myself that this is something I can do. Um, but I also like video editing, and I think that starting my own YouTube channel will be a great way to uh, practice my editing skills. And it is. Um, but... I'm gonna be honest, talking to a camera is not easy, <laughs> especially um, if I'm filming for a long time. Like, my energy level at the beginning will be like up here, and then slowly it just goes like whoosh. And sometimes I don't even notice it until I'm already in the editing process. Um, and then I'm like, come on, girl, pick up the energy. <laughs> um, yeah, so for anyone who does this for a living, like, kudos to you, because um, talking to something that doesn't respond or react to whatever you say is weird and hard and exhausting mentally. Um, so yeah, and especially for people who do this every single day, like, wow, you're amazing. <laughs> I definitely won't be doing it every single day, but, you know, I'm assuming that the more I do it, the... Um, easier it'll get for me. I mean, I know that, so I'm just gonna try to push through it and, like, maintain eye contact. I'm looking at you. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to be able to look back on these videos, uh, learn from editing these videos, filming these videos, um, and just being able to look back and seeing myself, you know, like, when I was growing up, my parents, uh, did home videos, so we had, like, the like, the actual video cameras that everyone had. Not everyone, but my family had. And it was just so much fun. Like, I remember putting in the VCR, VCR, my Invisalign. My lisp hasn't completely gone away. Like, I don't usually sound like this. It's because of my braces, but our VCR. <laughs> we would, I would always put in the tapes and then rewatch all the videos that my parents uh, made of when we were all younger. Um, and it was always really, really fun watching all of that. So, you know, I just wanted to be able to document my life, um, and be able to look back on it. Even like three years ago, uh, I went and studied abroad. I went to China and lived in Shanghai for a year, which was really fun. Maybe I'll do a video about that actually one day, but, um, it was really fun watching all those travel vlogs that I did with my friends, like... Obviously, I have my memories, but seeing it and then um, being able to see myself talk about what I was feeling at the time is really cool. So I guess that's the main reason why I'm doing YouTube. Um, I'm not explaining myself to give a reason as to why I'm doing it. Um, I already... Wow, I'm saying I'm a lot. <laughs> I'm just... I guess I'm kind of filming this for myself in a way because I've been feeling a little bit discouraged about how I've been um, seeing myself during the editing process. But uh, yeah, 
I think the more I do it, the better I'll get. And I guess that's the moral of the story, but hopefully I'll be pumping out some more videos more often, so I guess we'll see. But my Saturday is pretty much over. Tomorrow's my Christmas party, as I mentioned earlier. And yeah. And Mika's here, hanging out with me as usual. Right, Mika Pie? Mika always lays next to me at night. Like, she's such a little diva, too. She has, like, her spot, and this is her spot, and she won't... It's funny. She will not lay on the bed if it's just, like, the bed sheet. I have to put out the blanket for her, and then she'll lay down. And it's not in the way that she wants it to be. She'll, like, scratch at it. And scratch it until I put it in the way that she likes it. Hey, Mika. You're such a little diva. You want to say goodnight? <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Um, not sure what the next video will be about yet. I do have some footage from my Japan trip from earlier this summer, but I was really shy about talking in public or talking sorry talking to a camera in public so um that footage isn't like super super good plus I was really sweaty because it was hot um so I don't know we'll see what I do with it but for now I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye